market is, what is it? It's Wednesday evening right now. It's on Saturday, but I'm going to Amsterdam Friday evening and I work all day Friday. So I really only have this evening and tomorrow evening to get ready. And honestly, I'm almost there, but there's just a lot of like final touches and packing left to do. I just realized I don't have any prices on any of my flower bags. So they have hang tags, but it just says what it used to be and no prices. So I have to do that. I just printed off a paper of price tags. I need to cut them out, write it out, and just like basically pack my suitcase. The thing is, I think I have a lot more than what I thought. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to actually bring everything, let alone my rolling wrap. Still have to figure that one out. <laughs> I just have to make sure that everything I bring is very intentional and that I'm actually going to use it because I need to haul it all the way to Amsterdam. I did go thrifting this morning and I got some fake flowers. For my flower bag display, I do want to bring my little like hook if I can manage that or I can put out the end of my rolling rack, that's also possible, just to display the flower bag so people understand what it's for. I got a bunch of fake ones because I thought if I ever do markets in the future, it's just easier to do fake rather than keep buying new fresh flowers every time <laughs> so this is my solution i'm getting really nervous about this market like am i even gonna do well i don't know i mean it's always good exposure that people see my brand but i just don't know how it's gonna be labels are done but i'm low-key stressing out because i still need to like make dinner and eat and pack and oh it's a lot but one step at a time. I'm just going to put everything in these garment bags that I made to keep them a little safe so that they don't get caught or stained or anything. Nothing happens to them. Um, I just realized I need to change some hangers on my coats. I have them all in white hangers also so they're just like ready to go. I can take them out of the suitcase and boom done. Hangers. One, two, I need four more hangers, one, two, three, four. Here. I don't know if anyone's gonna be interested in the coats right now. I mean, it is only 15 degrees in the Netherlands. So maybe, but I don't know. May as well bring them, showcase them. I don't know if my stuff is going to fit in here, but we're going to do the best <laughs> that we can. This is jackets. Now for tops. It is another day. Last night we got pretty far. I have this ready. And I think there's still some room in the suitcase. I think I'm just gonna add a couple more small things, like a little emergency sewing kit, my POS system. And actually, I thrifted the other day and I got this like cutie little mirror, thinking it would totally fit in my suitcase. And I don't know why I thought my suitcase was this tall. It's totally not. It doesn't fit. <laughs> I had this genius idea to make a very simple bag that will hold my mirror as well as the poles. It's a really weird way of holding it. Poles to my rolling rack. Like if I just make a bag a little bit taller than the mirror, then I can just shove these on the side, make a little strap on it. It would be like not the comfiest to wear, but at least it would get the job done, you know? goodness not bad it fits it's quite heavy though oh my goodness i just whipped up this bag i left the tail on just because i want to be sure that it's okay i made two compartments let's see if it works oh no all right this way this will allow me to be able to move everything by myself. Perfect fit. And I have my pig stock for the flower bag stand. 
This one's quite tall. Moment of truth. Oh! Nice! My suitcase. And I'll just put my rack on top like this. And we'll just tie it to the handle, to the bar. Look at me go! I just need to make sure that this stays, but I can- oh, I can also tie this to the strap. Off to the market! <laughs> Say hi to your followers. Say hi to your people. Are you excited? Ready to do the first Amsterdam market. I'm just gonna pop in real quick just for an announcement of the summer tops. I am officially releasing them next Wednesday at six o'clock Amsterdam time, but I usually lock down the whole website and I give early access password to all my newsletter subscribers. So if you want 30 minutes early access, you can subscribe down below and you can get first dibs on all the tops. Now everything is one of a kind, as you know, it's all from thrifted materials. So you wanna be quick. Subscribe to the newsletter down below and I will let you go on with the video and you can hear all about my market experience. I just want to do a quick little like market recap just to give you a really honest look into how it went from a small business point of view and it was only my second market ever. I only did one before in like November in Maastricht so this was the first one in Amsterdam and the second market I've ever done. I just wanted to try like a different city, a different customer base. I kind of have the idea that Amsterdam is more my customer base rather than Maastricht. It's a little bit more conservative here, but in the north, of course, they take more of like fashion risks and my clothes are kind of bold. So <laughs> that's why I feel like they work better there. Now, the market was a really good experience. I really enjoyed it and I got to meet some like really cool people and other creatives just to see what they're doing i even got this cute little necklace from another creator so it was really fun in that sense i wouldn't say that it was like super successful and i like sold all these things it really wasn't like that there were kind of a lot fewer people than i thought there would be i thought it would be like a really bustling place maybe it was just the weekend i was there and it wasn't the other thing i think affected sales is just my price points are a bit higher and i feel like markets are more geared towards like spontaneous or what, what's that thing that they called um you know like a, when you go to the grocery store and there's those things at the end by the cashier what's it called i don't know like you know spontaneous shopping when you see something and you're like i don't really need this but i like it so you gotta spend the money on it that so i think that's what markers are more geared towards whereas i think my product is more of a higher price point so people want to think about it and invest in it and really consider their purchase which is 
totally fair like i'm i'm the exact same way so that was kind of another realization i had at this market in amsterdam it was similar in mesterdijk and it also just happened again in amsterdam and it was also really cool to see how people interacted with my my brand and my products kind of what their initial reactions were and what they thought about it there was a lot of older ladies who really loved my sewing techniques and were impressed that i made it all myself and a lot of the like younger demographic younger girls not like super young i would say like 20s or something really like the style and the fabrics and the colors so that was kind of good it's kind of going in the right direction i would say i would say also the flower bags people were really intrigued by one lady did ask if it was for a baby and i was like no it's not for children <laughs> It is for flowers. Uh, so that was kind of a funny little moment. Maybe I'll try a market again, but maybe more something where I feel my brand fits in a bit better. But until then, like, I'm not sure we'll, <laughs> we'll try something else. Ultimately, it was a good experience. I did learn something and I got good feedback. So it's kind of like the best you could ask for. I mean, you could get more sales, but <laughs> that didn't happen. The main point after everything is basically you never know unless you try and I tried, I learned something, I walked away with some more knowledge about my brand. But I will see you next week, of course, always on Wednesday. Bye! Oh, I have to show you my little new necklace. Cute, right? Love it.